Hello guys, welcome back to another VFX tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this amazing VFX scene with our gold bag showcase. So let's start over today's amazing tutorial in the Blender. Okay guys, so I have opened my Blender. Now I will create a new simple plane. I will just scale it up like this. Let me turn on my screen cast keys so you guys can see the which keys I'm pressing. Okay. Okay, oh, this is good. Okay, so now let so let me go to the geo tracker, create a new geo tracker. I will select the video and I will provide you the link of the video in my description from where you can download it simply. Okay, so I have selected the video. Now I will select the camera. For that, I have to create a new camera simply like this. And here is our camera created. I just want to move it and here. Okay, uh, by the way, this is not necessary, but uh, I always do this. Now I will simply select the camera. Okay. Now I will simply click on the analyze. So it will analyze the video from here, from frame one, it will start and two, four, zero, six, or end frame. So I'm using the whole video. You can trim it as, as you like. Okay, now it will simply analyze the video. Okay, guys, so our analyzation is completed. Now select the camera. And from here, it's like the focal length. And here, I have selected the camera, so it will apply the tracking to our camera, not over the mesh. So, before going to the pin mode, let me share with you a cool trick. Uh, select, select the camera, go into the camera view. Now, go into the tool view, camera to view. So, now I will simply place this object as a camera. And I will scale down the plane. Oh, let leave the scale and just move the uh, camera simply using your scroll button. I think this is uh, good now. Now let's just turn off the camera to view option, and I think this is good now. Now let go back again to the geo tracker. Now let's start over pin mode. Go into the appearance mode, and as you can see, we have already. Let me let first exit mode and let first uh, subdivide plane so we can see mesh more clearly, like this and now if we just select this and as you can see we have already uh, uh, framed over mesh for our tracking object now we don't have place the plane manually on the video because that will take much longer time but this is a cool easy way uh, to place the object for our tracking object so now as you can see we have uh, placed our tracking object now i will simply click on this button track to end so it will track it to to the end let me first track to start and guys this is just done our tracking and guys our tracking is done and you can see how much this is easier than the blender tra uh, blender's tracking and you can see how nicely our plane is tracked Okay, let's place our CG object which we want to add into the our video. Okay guys, so I'm going to use this model but as you can see this is paid model but don't worry I will provide you this free model. You can simply download it from the my link in description and as you know in my every tutorial I give you the free premium 3D model. So if you like it, uh, make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video to, to support me. I will simply share with you this Blender 3D model file. So you can simply just download it and open it and you just have to then copy this model and just place it in the scene like this and now our model is placed now just place the model as you like like you can just add it here like this let me turn on my render view let me first 
for the fill fast pattern so it can show object i'll simply select the that uh, bottom plane which we use for the tracking now go into the visibility and just make it shadow catcher so it will hide that pin but keep the shadows of our object like you can see here are the over shadows okay so this now just move it down a little bit you know this is looking good just assembly make it more clear as you like what i am thinking i will just grab this vertex and just the bottom so it will receive these shadows or object to give it more realistic look and like from here also just move it up just move it to the bottom okay so guys our scene is completed let, let me just move it back a little bit like this and just place it as you like let me just rotate it a little bit and now guys this is looking good to me and let me just like this frames and make it bevel to make it smooth transition for the shadows this now you can see now it is not uh, showing the hard shadows but the smooth ones so guys if you like in this tutorial please make sure to like the video and subscribe my channel for more amazing tutorials now let's just set up our hdri for good scene view now i'm going to shadow editor this object mode fold this now I, I will just simply delete this hdri which i'm using by default i will simply go into the my asset browser only heaven i'm going to use this hdri but if you don't have installed this add-on you can simply go into the website like polyhaven.com and you can simply search the hdri like this one urban valley you can simply download it from here by clicking this download button and after downloading you just have to create a new node by of create a new node of environment texture and just click on the open button and select your registry and just connect it and then Control t for the mapping nodes you can simply create these new nodes mapping like here mapping and then texture coordinate simply but i'm not uh, going to use it i'm just simply going to use my this hdri like this now i will just have to drag it to the scene and this will apply over hdri now i will have to go back to the this uh, shadow node and now i will simply put the traction of this and now i will simply give it the rent like this and now you can simply just change it to rotation match with the scene lighting like this as you can you can get the idea of lighting by seeing your scene objects like you can see uh, it hitting the light sunlight from this side from the from front side so that's why i just changed it to rotation and now i will simply just make it darker a little bit darker to match with the object or you can just simply uh, increase the brightness a little bit and later we will add the brightness to our video so it will match with our scene lighting yes i think this is looking good now now i will simply just save it and now if we see and if we play over animation you can see how nicely it has placed and tracked with our footage this and now guys let's uh, do our render settings and i'm using these settings now uh, i will render it around 100 samples and 90 20 by 1080 100 percent make sure to match frame rate with our actual footage frame rates and you can simply see it by right clicking on your video and then at the bottom you will see the property option now click it after clicking you will see this window and click on the details and here you can see the frame rate of our video which is 49.94 frames per second and you can simply just match to the different bit and after this just click on the this button and select the output location where you want to save the uh, image sequence now go uh, i will select the png format and make it color depth 16 compression 0 that's it and after doing these settings 
you just have to go into the render and render animation and i will see you after the rendered sequence in the after effects where we will do our final compositing match the overall video colors to the scene objects for the color grading and enhancement of our final scene so see you guys in the after effects hello guys so i have opened the after effects now i will import my sequence which i have rendered from the blender so double click here first i will import the video go into the location where you have saved your video click on it and make sure to take that option create composition so it will create the composition automatically now uh, if you see uh, that same error like this make sure to turn off the caps lock now uh, as you can see our video is imported now make sure that it has the same frame rate uh, with which match our video make sure make sure it have the same frame rate as per our video so okay so now i will import my uh standards render image sequence so double click here you can make sure to select the first frame like this is row one and uh, untick that option create composition because we, uh, because we don't need it and make sure the sequence is check marked so i'm import and if we now orient to our composition as you can see it has imported but first make sure one thing let me show you i don't know my column is not showing so just go into the frame rate and as you can see this is not or matching with our composition or with our uh, actual footage frame rate uh, so right click on it interpret footage main and give it the same frame rate which matches over with video and okay now let's delete it and import it again now it will nicely will be sequenced uh now it will be nicely matched with our video without an issue so now if we play first let load him to, into the memory so it will play smoothly now as you can see there is a little glitch that may be in the rendering so there is not any big issue in our tracking or something else this is just because of the rendering so if you got the same issue uh, please let me know in the comments but as i have rendered it earlier with my another render it uh, i don't get any problem like this okay guys so now let's do some crack grading for this i will simply create a new adjustment layer now i will add the lumetri effect by going to the effects and presets i will search for the lumetri this and if we go to the get tiers and now let's just increase exposure a little bit to increase the video brightness and as you can see now this is matching with our back and our video so you can simply okay, there's any setting which you want to like Okay, now I will simply just increase the vibrance a little bit, the video, just a little bit. This, oh, this is looking good to me. Okay, guys, if you want to render it, just uh, press Ctrl M on your keyboard. By clicking here, you will have to select the location where you want to save the file, and here you have the video settings. For the good quality, I always render in quick time. So make sure to take that option. And after this, okay. And let me first select the location. Okay. So now, as you can see, render button appears. Now you simply have to right click on the render button and it will start rendering. And hope you guys you have liked the tutorial. Please give a like to this video and support my channel by watching the complete video it will help me to get over to the algorithm and make sure to subscribe my channel for more amazing tutorial i will see you in the next tutorial take care